welcome back today we are going to work with images so in writer we can insert the image using two ways let's see how we can insert for that of course we will go to the insert menu and there we have to find pictures so you can see there are two options form file and scan you can directly scan the picture and uh, put it over here so let me first start with this though i do not have the scanner with me so here if you have the scanner you can attach it and uh, you can select this option select source here it will give you scanner which you have to select here so you will select the name of the scanner here and click on select this is how you are going to insert the picture using scanner now the next one is to insert the picture using the gallery just like in ms word we have clip art over here also we have the gallery so we have different categories here like we have backgrounds we have bullets we have uh, pictures related with system computers and uh, we have other diagrams related with something environment so you can directly insert the picture just select the picture and right click you will get either you can copy the picture you can create a link or you can also insert the picture in the background of the page or paragraph so you can do that right like i have done like this so let's insert the picture itself I'll just say insert that's it copy and this is how the picture will get inserted so then I do not want this gallery over here so right click or just click on that again it will disappear again I just tell you right if you want to insert a picture from your system which is not in the gallery you can go to the insert menu and there you have the picture option from file you will select the picture and then click on open it will get inserted now when you insert a picture you can see that a picture toolbar will appear it has different options i will explain you them one by one this is again if you want to insert a picture from file so the same, this is the same option next uh, is the filters we have so, so many filters let's in, enlarge the picture over here uh, so that you can see the effects this is to invert the colors right let's undo that and let's see the next one it is too smooth uh, so the uh, edges you can see they get blurred the edges will get blurred right uh, let's show you one more time so more you will smooth it more the edges will be get blurred let's undo that and here we have the image now again we have the next filter which is sharpen it will make the edges more sharper these are same just like you use in your uh, smartphone pictures and this is to remove the noise the next one is to solarization means uh, actually solarization means the filter that mimics the light intensity in an image so you can just experiment with it let's undo this and let's see the next one then we have aging like uh, how old you want your picture to look like so this is how it is going to look so that's aging next filter we have is posturize so we can posturize it according to our need and this is how it will look like the next filter is pop art so this is how the pop art will look like and uh, the next one is charcoal sketch this is good one then we have relief now again relief uh, is a filter used to modify the large light source in an image like if i want to, on the top if i put the image uh, source of my light on the top so the how the shadow will appear right this is how it will you know appear over here so you can experiment different angles there and you will come to know the differences then we have mosaic and uh, you can increase it so this is how the mosaic effect will be applied to the image uh, we can turn this image into grayscale so it will be the shades of gray 
and black and white is something different let's move to default black and white means only the two colors would be there black and white so this is how it will look like let's get back to default and watermark of course it will change the transparency though that it could be used as a watermark all right the next one is changing the color combinations we have rgb r stand for red green and blue rgb so if i increase any of the color you can see that particular color will increase in your picture and by default it is zero in each and every one right and that's, this is the brightness if you want to increase the brightness of the picture so you can do that all right it depends on you like what do you want if you want to make it darker you can give the negative value to it as well right similarly we have contrast of the colors and gamma just experiment with them all right and then we have um this is uh, again transparency so this is how it will look like let's undo that and then i can flip them horizontally this is flip vertical so this is all about the picture toolbar if i want to resize the image according to my need i can do that like i have m plenty of ample of space so i can increase the size using by dragging the borders these borders will help me to see if you will uh, use any of the corner it will increase the size height and width both right but if you will uh, stretch these one like it is going to increase the width so it will be like that similarly if you uh, stretch this particular green one it is going to make it lengthier so it's better if you want to increase the size of the image to drag it from the corners like this now to modify the picture we have another dialog box it can be appeared like if you double click on the image so this is the picture dialog box with which you can make changes in the picture or you can just right click on this image and again you have to click on picture again the same dialog box will appear or you can go to format because you want to format the picture and here we have the picture toolbar these are the three ways with which you can open the picture dialog box either you double click on the image right click and choose picture or go to the format menu and choose picture so all these will bring the same dialog box to you now over here we can crop the picture there are two options given keep scale and keep image size let's see the difference first i want to uh, crop the picture from bottom all right this one so click on okay okay now let's do it with uh, another option which is keep image size let's see what will happen and click on okay you can see it has been stretched so the image of the size was this so it has been stretched and keep scale means it will not get stretched it will maintain its height and width both and accordingly the picture will look normal so it's better to use the keep scale option instead of using keep image size then we have borders i can add border to my picture like i can add any of the particular top bottom or whatever it is there that i can choose the border type i can also choose the color for my picture and uh, then i can also increase the width and everything and spacing and everything can be adjusted so this is how you can make changes uh, in the picture you can format your picture now insert some text then we have something like which is anchor anchor to page means right now it is anchored to the paragraph you can see because it is between the paragraph so by default is anchored to the paragraph so when it the picture is anchored to the paragraph you can go to the format menu and then you can align it you can align it to top center bottom so let's align to the bottom and here the accordingly it will shift to the bottom now let's change the anchor to the page so if it will change to page let's see where this anchor will move so go to format and change the anchor position to page now you can see that let's let me show you where is my anchor point you can see the anchor of the pages of the top so i have selected at the bottom that's why my image has moved to bottom let's move it to the top and uh, i'll say alignment top 
so it will move to top similarly if i say alignment to center it will move to the center of the page according to the anchor point so you can change the anchor point according to your requirement and uh, accordingly you can align your image okay let's see uh, what we have to do with the different wrap options we have none means we do not want to wrap the picture and uh, no fit then this is before means like if you click on this see yourself so before the image the text has to be aligned means the text will appear first then the image will appear let's undo that okay and again let's see the next option after so the image will come first and the text will come afterwards let's uh, see that so you can see that uh, first the image was here and then the text will appear let's see the parallel option so parallelly the image and the text both will be aligned they will go side by side parallel means side by side let's undo this thing one more time and through means the text will the image will appear on the top of the text you can see over here so it is true okay and the next option is optimal so accordingly it will adjust image is going to adjust itself according to the space and the text will be appearing as per you move the image this is optimal we have covered about the images now the next one is to see the drawing objects now you can view the drawing objects it might appear over here uh, at the bottom near the status bar if it is not there it means your toolbar is not appearing so what you can do you can go to the view menu and there you have the toolbars here you can check this option drawing toolbar so your drawing toolbar will appear we have different tools with which we can experiment like this will help us to draw the line and when you draw a particular object the properties will appear here so i can choose the line type like this and then i can increase the widthness i can change the color of the line if i in case i want and uh, so many things are there so let me insert some more images over here like this one and uh, let's see the images oh i can fill the color that i want and uh, this border color and so many things are there then let's see this is the call outs then flow chart in case you are creating a flow chart so all the flow chart symbols will be available in this particular category similarly you have some uh, other symbols which could be used over there then we have the arrows category over here and these are some points let me draw a rectangle i click on points it will give me a point here so accordingly if i hover my mouse over here it will change to hand sign now, now you can see that what is going to do let's see so you can make changes by using points in the shape and this is font work Now suppose if I bring this uh, this one over here, and I want so this has gone back. I want to bring it forward. So right click again and arrange bring to bring forward means one layer. If I want to uh, bring this one also, and I want to send it at the back, or I want to bring it in the front. So again, I will select this. Right click on it. And I'll say arrange, bring to front, so it will come to the very first layer. Now I want that my line should appear over the oval. Bring forward means one layer forward. Bring uh, in front means on the top. Similarly, uh, if I choose bring send backward one layer backward and send to back means at last. To group the object, just click on any one of them, and then you just drag over all the objects. They will all get selected. Now, right click and you can group them together. So, what will be the significance of uh, grouping the objects? Is I can together add an effect on them. I can together make the changes. I can increase, resize them together. They will be large together and everything. 
Now if you want to ungroup, right click again and then you can choose the option ungroup. This is all about the drawing objects and images. In case you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section below.